hello everyone welcome to today's video in this video we're going to look at how to set up simple business card using microsoft publisher so like i did say in the previous video um, i'm going to put a link here on microsoft beginners guide on microsoft publisher there are templates that you can actually use in setting up your business card all you need to do is just set it either you scroll down open up your publisher and then scroll down you'll find somewhere the cart click and you find different kinds of card or better still you can type in business business card in that box and search so several kinds of business card will appear all you need to do is choose the card that best suits what you want to talk about or design and just click and dump okay let's probably look at this one and click the create all right so this is the design so what you need to do like i did explain in the beginner's guide here you just delete what is there put in your company logo put in title here full name title and then delete all the information what you have here and key in your personal information and that will be the card another way is that you can set up your business card from scratch so let's do that designing our business card you can choose either of this um, paper type so let me go with the landscape once i'm here i will increase a little bit and just go to where you have the page design what i want to do is to design the page layout so page design go to size go all the way down to where you have the page size this dialog box comes out notice what i have done in the create new page size all right so what i did is where i have the name it's current the page um layout type type i have the width to be 5.3 centimeter the height 2 centimeter and where i have the layer type type i have it to be multiple pages per sheet and here the margins guide all right so take note of the settings there and where i have the target page size i have it to be custom and then I customize the page width to be 5.8.5 centimeter. The height there is um, 11 centimeter and side margin 0.75 centimeter. Top margin, I have it to be 0.5 centimeter. So once you are done with your paper size, now this depends on the size that you want your business card to look like. It's not like this is the you know all the fourth um, setting that you must have so but when you key in this information you will notice by the preview part that it has actually set your document or your your document to be at the middle of your page after you finish designing it's gonna be at the middle of the page and here I have two columns of five all right two columns and five row so once this is okay just click on the okay button and this is where we are so all you need to do now is to start designing so the next thing I need to do is begin to key in the information that I want so I'll go to the insect remember in publisher you only to key in um, any kind of information you have to go to insect and draw your box so in fact, I go straight to Dropbox. What I need to do now is to enter the information that I want. So, okay, so to put a text box, go click the insect and draw the text box. Okay, so I already um, copied what I typed in. I'll paste it right here. It'll, it's big. I'll select it. And reduce the font size so that's what I have there I can further reduce the font size and make this a little bit 
then drag this remember this is our guide line so i need to bring this into that guide space that line space okay so i can also put another information like here something else isn't showing i will make that three so i have here the email address okay so let's say these are the things you want in your business card and i have the email address i have the tell number i have the address street address the name and Gina jane grafted and the company's name all right so i'll take off that company's name and put it somewhere else so here yeah, i can reduce that and drag it a little bit down okay so i'll go ahead i want to insert another test box where i can put the company logo so here if you have a logo you can easily put it in or you type in your company name anyone goes anyone would go so i'll just quickly type in so in all of this i see it comes out really large i'll type in grafted So that's the company name again like i did on the other side i will reduce the font size okay and reduce this you can just further edit this company logo remember the guideline you need to watch watch that guideline aspect and then you drag and dump it somewhere nice you can also create logos um from free websites you put in your company name and you download a free logo so this is just an illustration and i want to use a company name just written out i can here make it bold right and increase that size so it goes right in i can also change the color of my choice so maybe a blue would go all right so i'll leave it at that and here i can call the ceo or chair chairperson i can call this um general general manager okay so that might just be what you want to do something simple that you want to design over here because this person is a general man manager you can also further just edit and make some nice stuff there you can put insect a line shape and then just draw a line there just to separate and make people understand this person is the general manager okay so maybe we should make it to that point okay so that is really large you can make that line thin okay so from here i have the shape outline i can go ahead and reduce the width to one point okay this is just a basic way to design your card and this other part you might also want to put the thin line under the general manager or you just let it be the way it is okay so let me assume this is my simple card that i have designed right you can something else i didn't put here can be your website say www.grafted thick knowledge.com okay so that would be the website all right so we have all the information we need that the company name or company logo whatever you call it should be there the full name you as a person designing or you're designing for someone and the title of the person 
company street phone number you can this is an office phone number you can also add a mobile number email address and website i think this is pretty uh, the basic thing that goes into a business card so once you finish you go to where you have click fight tab once you finish and go to the print button so you can see over here even though i designed just one card it automatically brings out multiple cards in uh, in one page so that's because we set up the page um, layout initially but to set it out or to check if we actually have the same settings you go to where you have the layout options and i can see there are some changes here so i'll just modify it again here i have it to be 0, 0,75 and i have this other part to be 0, 0,5 and you can see the preview is changing and here I have here to be just zero that was my setting and I have this aspect to be zero as well okay so you can actually make your settings at this point or you leave it as it were um, initially okay so this may not look cool so I'll just go back go again to my print and i like what i see here back to the layout so i'm gonna leave the setting as it is close so what i just need to do is the idea is actually you can make your layout options here you can make your settings here how you want it printed or you just close it okay so here all i need to do is print out what i have here i can zoom print out what i have there and cut it out straight from the middle you can see each section of my cards cut the top and just make it look really nice chop 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 each section of the cards and that will be a simple business card designed from your microsoft publisher